Well, let's cross to Naples and speak to our correspondent, Sofia Bettizza. Uh, Sofia, you're in Naples. Did you see the game? I did watch the game right here last night. And um, the whole city of Naples has been celebrating since the win. This has basically, basically become one big street party and the atmosphere has been incredible. People were singing, dancing, swimming in fountains. Uh, there were children playing football in the streets. Um, as you can see behind me, all the streets have been decorated with uh, flags hanging outside every balcony. I spoke to somebody yesterday who said that it's impossible to put this emotion into words. And someone else said to me that he cried when Napoli beat Udinese yesterday because he felt that this was such a historic moment for the city. And um, are the celebrations over now? The celebrations are not over. I am being told that this is just the beginning. And of course, this is a city that lives and breeds football. And this celebration has been 33 years in the making. Because the last time that Napoli won the league was in 1990, when Diego Maradona was their captain. But of course, since then, it's always been the bigger football clubs from Northern Italy, you know, from Milan or from Turin, who kept winning year after year. And so this victory today is about so much more than football for people here. It's a victory of the underdogs. It's a social vindication. Now, there's a whole generation here in Naples that is too young to remember the glory days of Maradona. But, you know, for a city that is so devoted to their football club, this celebration, this win, is something they're going to remember and cherish for years to come. Sophia, we were speaking to a Napoli fan earlier, and he made the point that one of the things that the club had done right was the management. Um, they were very strict in what they did, how they did it. How unusual is that when it comes to Italian football? It's quite unusual. Um, as I mentioned, the team won, uh, the last time that the team won the Serie A title was in 1990 when Diego Maradona was captain. Uh, and that was a huge sort of success here in Naples. But since then, the team, the team could not sustain that level of success. They started playing badly. They uh, were demoted to a lower league and they even went bankrupt because they had financial troubles. But a big change happened in 2004 when a new person came in De Laurentiis he's a filmmaker a film producer who saw potential here he bought the team uh, and since then the team has been increasingly playing better and better but still year after year they couldn't quite make it it couldn't work, quite win the Serie A title so people here feel that this is really their time their moment that they really deserve this win and they'll be celebrating and partying for weeks and months to come. Um, we know full well just how much economically football can bring um, to so many aspects of society. Will this be doing anything for the city of Naples itself? Well, when they won the Serie A title about three decades ago, Napoli, Naples was very different. It was much poorer. It had just been hit by a terribly devastating earthquake. So the win back then was seen as a sort of rebirth for the city. Today is very different. Naples is very well known internationally. You know, it's the home of pizza, Italian food. Lots of tourists come here. In fact, uh, among Napoli fans last night, it wasn't only Italian people but people from the UK, France, Germany, lots of European countries so it's a very um, different situation today and many people here have told me that they feel that this win is sort of a consecration of a new status of Naples that now feels an international European city. A beautifully sunlit city as well. Uh, Sofia Batitza thank you very much indeed thank you.